Hi everybody and welcome to Fab Tax. I'm Rosemary and today I'm excited to share the third in our series of Dollar Tree bathroom decor and organization DIYs. Although these DIYs would work great in any space, they were specifically designed for smaller spaces. If you didn't get to see videos one and two, you might want to check those out and I've included a link in the description below. In the previous videos, we focused on items that ma maximize countertops with a small footprint and a smart use of vertical space. But today we're going to go a little more vertical with some wall mounted options. First, I'll show you how I made this wall mounted jewelry organizer, which not only gives you a place to store your baubles, but it also serves as a decorative piece. This coordinating acrylic shelf offers some storage for small items and this wall-mounted acrylic plant holder supplies a pop of greenery. In addition, I'll show you how I made these wall-mounted palette holders and brush caddy. These items also coordinate with the makeup organizer and acrylic shelves from our last video. But first we'd like to say a great big thank you to all of our subscribers and all the folks who have commented, liked, and shared our videos. Your support is very much appreciated. To make the wall mounted pallet holder, I took this soap dish from the Dollar Tree, that's the one with the suction cups on the back, and popped off that plate, and that leaves a little flat surface that I can attach this command strip to. I then took a set of the command strips and uh, just put, peel off that little backing, um, paper backing, and then adhered the command strip to the back of that flat piece uh, on the back of the soap dish. I then flipped the soap dish over and added some E6000 glue to what would be the bottom of the soap dish, but now the top of our palette holder. I put a good amount on uh, through the center of the um, bottom piece there and then also to the front and back as well where the um, napkin holder will touch. So it specifically touches there right to the front and right to the back. So I made certain that there was E6000 in that space. And then um, just got a book and put that on and it would be best for this to actually sit overnight. To make the brush holder, I took this toothbrush and cup holder, uh, did the same with the suction cups on the back, just pop them off, and then uh, revealed that back, flat back and added a command strip to the back of that piece. I then took one of the Dollar Tree toothbrush cups and put that in the, in the holder. To hang the palette holder, I took the other set of the command strips, attached that to the wall, and then added a uh, one of these small Dollar Tree hooks, about two to three inches above the command strip, and then took a Dollar Tree hair elastic and put that through the hook on the wall. Then I took the palette holder and lined up the two pieces of the command strip and then I took the hair elastic and stretched that around the back edge of the napkin holder. Then I went back to the command strips and really pressed them down, making certain that they were adhered to each other. To attach the brush holder, I simply mounted the other side of the command strip to the wall and then attached the cup holder. To add the second palette holder, I followed the same process as the first, putting the command strip and then the small hook and hair elastic. And there is the three piece set. I also want to take a minute to show you how well the palettes coordinate with our makeup organizer from our last video. Also, we forgot to mention in the last video that the organizer is a round organizer, so it can uh, go right up, up against the wall like that, right, hug right into a corner and um, still allow you to fully rotate the organizer. 
So just wanted to point that out, that it really is extremely space saving and will work great in a small space. To make the small acrylic shelf, we use the same soap dish uh, process and added this small organizer that um, they sell at the Dollar Tree. And again, we just used the small soap dish and removed the um, suction cup backing. And again, would use the command strip to the back and then just um, allow the small organizer to sit on, on the back of the soap dish. Um, you can also, as we did here, paint those to add a different touch. So here's the, the silver. And since we had several requests for some gold finishes, we've decided to go ahead and use the gold finish for this project. And again, just adding the small, uh, I'm sorry, not the small, but the command strip to the back. And then um, some of the E6000 glue. Uh, this time we're going to also add it to those back um, sections there, that little piece that sticks up in the back. And then um, when we put the, uh, the acrylic piece on, uh, I pushed it down and to the back so that it was supported both in the back and on the bottom. And then to let it hold, uh, sit and hold, we uh, added a nice chunky candle with some weight to it. To hang the small shelf once the glue was set, I used the same process as the palette holder with a command strip on the bottom and the small Dollar Tree hook uh, about two to three inches above that. I then took a second Dollar Tree hook and removed the uh, backing so the sticky part was out and then uh, hooked the two hooks together. And then I took the small shelf and lined up the command strip pieces, pressed those in and then pressed the back of the small shelf uh, top into the sticky part of the hook and I'll show you what I mean by this a little close-up in a second you see it doesn't pull off but you'll see here what I mean is that I took the one uh, sticky hook that was on the wall and then the other sticky, sticky hook uh, s you know went right inside of it you could add a little glue there a little e6000 if you want a more secure hole Another little project to show you is this one that we did with, again, the little cup holders. And we added some of the uh, floral moss and then a couple uh, cuttings from a greenery that we got from Walmart for 97 cents. And then that just makes the same thing, you know, put the command strip on the back and it makes a great little piece. To make the decorative jewelry holder, I took this pinwheel, which was a little broken, but I need the pole anyway, so that was fine, and uh, this um, desk organizer, and these self-adhesive hooks, small self-adhesive hooks, and this 11 by 14 frame, all of these items are from the Dollar Tree. And then I sprayed them with Rust-Oleum Metallic in gold. For the artwork, I used this Dollar Tree uh, Best Day Ever bag, gift bag, uh, but as you can see, it's not quite large enough for the uh, frame. So I'm going to use these side panels for filler. So I just cut off the front of the bag so that I just had the front, very front square, which just said best day ever. And then I took the side pieces and cut enough for the uh, a bottom panel and then the two side panels. And note that the bag is pushed all the way up to the top. I didn't center it. Um, I have the bag all the way pushed to the top of the back of the frame. Then I glued the pieces to the back of the frame uh, using this extreme glue stick, but you can use regular glue if you don't have that. A regular glue stick probably won't work so well, but that extreme glue stick is really good for this. I first glued down the uh, filler pieces and then the top piece. Then I just went ahead and reassembled the frame, adding the glass in first, and then um, the artwork, and then secured it back in.
Then I added the little desk organizer as a shelf at the bottom using E6000. For the hooks, I wanted to cover the little holes left by the handle of the bag. So I took the hooks and I placed them at the very top of the frame, but also where they cover those little holes. Put the first two there, and then the second two I've put between the existing hook and the edge of the frame. Next, I took the pole from the pinwheel, which I had cut down to size with my wire cutters. And um, this is going to now be what will hold earrings in the, in the uh, jewelry holder. And I added the uh, two hooks to either side. I did add a little E6000 to give it a little extra support. And then I used a ruler to just guide the two pieces to make sure that they were even. And then I just snapped the pole into place. And there you have it, a great little jewelry organizer, which also serves as a decorative piece. Well, I hope you enjoyed this latest edition of our Dollar Tree DIY bathroom decor organization series. Please let us know down in the comments which one was your favorite and any questions you might have. Well, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.